Hey there YouTubers, this is Virginia Native. I know a lot of you look at the videos and wonder just what this guy's doing. But I like a little bit of everything. I like shark tooth hunting, airhead hunting, metal detecting. I like silver stacking, yard sailing, flea market going, just finding bargains and treasures. That's what, that's what thrills me. That's what gets to me, so... Anyway, got a AT Pro. Actually, I bought it from from a wife, and unboxed it a couple weeks ago. Maybe took it out in the backyard and found some coins that I hadn't found with my whites. Had a pretty good time. I've had four hunts up until yesterday, and I've probably hunted with it maybe five and a half, six hours. But last night or yesterday evening, I decided to take advantage of going somewhere with a, about an hour of uh, daylight left. So I went to old school that I've hunted before, and there was a school board meeting going on. So I decided that I would head somewhere different. So I went to the recreational center, and there was basketball going on and I thought well I'll just head somewhere different so I went to this giant open lot that was across from one of our big uh, textile mills and I've hunted it before and found a weedy and some uh, change just Lincoln scents and so forth but yesterday I was feeling pretty good so I hunted around an hour and found a dime uh, found a memorial penny and then I got this really good reading and as you can see there is a barber 1916 barber dime I pulled this out yesterday uh, it's worn it's really thin can't even see the reading on the edge so, but I've only found a few barber coins in my time, and I feel this one's very special. I, actually, I scratched it some at the top, but there's actually some old gouges that were put on it years and years ago. So, anyway, I finally found my first piece of silver with the metal detector. The old AT Pro um, in the backyard, it was as if everything I found was a coin. And I thought this is a magic machine, so it takes a little use to go into a park with a lot of crap and trash and so forth and weeding through it. But I did squeak this one out, and I'm very happy with it. Um, what better way to start off your first piece of silver with a new machine than one that's uh, hitting on 97 years old. So anyway... I appreciate you watching and thanks for your comments.